Hey guys, welcome back. Houston Math Prep here. In this video, we're going to look at some basic probability examples using a standard die. So we want to find the probability of certain events happening when we roll this six-sided die. Keeping in mind that when we roll a fair die, each outcome is equally likely. So if we look at our sample space for rolling a die, there are six the numbers one through six appear. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six as our possible outcomes. And again, each one is equally likely to happen. So when we look at our probabilities here, what is the probability of rolling a three? When I look, three is one of my outcomes, and I have one, two, three, four, five, six possible outcomes. So the probability of rolling a three is one out of six. That would actually be true no matter what value I had put right here. The probability of rolling a three on a fair die would be exactly the same as rolling the, probab the probability of rolling, say, a five. When we start to look at different combinations, for example, the probability of rolling an even number. Well, there's more than one even number, so let's see. Even, we have six possible outcomes, and how many of them are even? Well, we have two is even, four is even, and six is even, so three of the items in our sample space out of our total outcomes of six are even. So reducing that, the probability of rolling an even number on a standard die is one half. Okay, last but not least, what is the probability of rolling a value x that is less than four? We know again that our total number of outcomes is six. So, how many of those values are less than four? Well, one is less than four, two is less than four, and three is less than four. So we have one, two, three outcomes. So three over six, again, reduces to one half. So the probability of rolling a value less than four is one half. All right, guys, that does it for this video on basic probability using a standard die. We'll catch you in the next one.